Welcome to Park Place Lanes in Wyndham, New Hampshire. We are in the third round of match play at the inaugural Women's Pro Series Singles Knockout Tournament. In this match, you're going to see Melissa Casey on the left lane, lane 21, and Cindy Colley starting on lane 22. Melissa is coming off a win over Peg Tosi in the second round. Meanwhile, Cindy Colley beat Cheryl Duvall. So uh, Cindy Colley starts off with a six drop and Melissa goes to the left side and takes out three. And there is a nice spare by Cindy Colley. She takes advantage of some favorable wood to convert that one three seven ten and we'll take a look at it on replay in just a moment. Meanwhile Melissa Casey needs an out and that is an out. She makes a 10 out of that. That's a great shot right there. So here's a look at the spare by Cindy Colley. She hits pretty solid on the head pin, and that would enables her to take out all four pins for the spare. And let's take a look at this 10 box by Melissa Casey. Just perfect. She takes out the 1, 6, 7, 9, 10 with no wood. That is just a tremendous shot right there. And very important, because these matches have been very close. She just got through... Uh, a one pin win over Peggy Tosi and uh, uh, there have been a number of other close matches. Cindy Colley's match against Cheryl Duvall was not a close when it was uh, 132 to 102 but there have been a lot of close matches in this tournament and there is another great shot by Cindy Colley. She got seven on the spare and added another one and Melissa Casey matches that with a spare in a second. So they're both off to a good start here in the uh, third round. Let's take another look at this 2-4-10 conversion by Cindy Colley. A little bit of a skip lob, but uh, uh, the ball still stays right on line and, and you can see that she cuts that over nicely. So that gives her two marks and 27 with a ball. And Cindy fills that spare with nine it's going to be. That gives her 36 after two. Meanwhile, Melissa Casey with a seven fill. She's got 27 after two. Let's see what Cindy can do with this single. Again, she drops the ball a little bit and just uh, goes by to goes by the uh, three pin. And a, a nice bid by Melissa on that five, six, ten with wood, but the ten wouldn't quite go. So it'll be a nine for Cindy Colley. And also a 9 for Melissa Casey in the third box. That gives Cindy a 45 to 36 lead, 9 pins. In the fourth box, it's another 9 drop for Cindy Colley. And Melissa pounds the 1 2 pocket and also drops 9. So they're both looking at corner pins. Cindy's got the 7, and Melissa's got the 10. And Cindy once again slides by that single pin. And Melissa just, uh, again, goes to the right. And so it's going to be a 10 box for Cindy and a 9 for Melissa Casey. And there is a, the, the third 9 drop in a row by Cindy Colley. Let's see what she can do with this single pin. She's got the 4. Sometimes it can wear on you a little bit when you start missing the singles, but she's all over that one. So that's going to give her 65 with a spare up in the fifth. And Melissa Casey converts the uh, seven pin with wood. So she's got 55 with a spare up. Now they will switch sides. And uh, as uh, Melissa comes over to lane 22, and Cindy will finish the game on lane 21. So these are a couple of pretty important fill balls here. Melissa working on that spare. And she adds five to give her a 60 half. Cindy Colley with yet another 9 drop. She's got 74 after 5, so that gives her a 14 pin lead. And kind of a nice try on the, uh, the Kaleri, but it didn't go for Melissa Casey, and Cindy picks the 5 pin for another mark. It'll be a 9 for Melissa Casey. 69 through 6. She doesn't want to 
fall too far behind here. She's down uh, 15 plus the fill ball for uh, Cindy Colley. And Cindy hits the pocket again, the 1-3 pocket, and adds 8, leaving a 7-8 with some wood. Meanwhile, Melissa is looking at a, uh, what is that, 6-7-9 with some, some wood that might help, and it does go. It, 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 was, uh, it took a while for that 7 to go, but that's a, a badly needed spare in the 7th. And meanwhile, Cindy doesn't quite get far enough to the left to uh, convert that 7-8. And uh, it'll be a 9 box. So let's take a look at this spare. You can see that this is a, a pretty good shot right there by Melissa Casey. She's a little bit low on that first wood, but she just gets enough of it to go over and nudge the 7 to where it goes down. That's a badly needed spare. Uh, she's right now uh, down 22 minus whatever she gets on this first ball in the eighth. And that is a pretty good fill ball. That's a strike right there. Let's go uh, go straight to the uh, slow-mo replay on that. You can see sort of a medium kind of a mixer in the 1-3 pocket. And that, that's the type of hit that works really well at Park Place. And uh, she gets, not surprisingly, get wow, and and then Cindy Colley drops a strike right on top of her. So that's that's an answer. Things are really heating up. Take another look at this strike. Cindy bounces it again, but you can see that that ball is not bothered at all by the bounce. It stays right on target, and that just hits high flush in the one three pocket and puts everything on the deck. So this is uh, this match is really heating up. It's a 12-pin lead for Cindy Colley with two boxes to go, but of course they're both working on strikes. Melissa gets a nice break there for eight, leaving the one three, and Cindy with just four. So that might tighten it up a bit. Melissa needs this one three conversion here, and she's got it. And a great shot by Cindy Colley for a spare in the ninth. Let's uh, let's have a look at the replay on this. It just she goes to the right side of the head pin and takes down that one, two, four, six, eight, ten with no wood. That is just a terrific shot right there. So that keeps the uh, pressure on Melissa Casey if she wants to tighten it up. Cindy keeps matching her marks. So Melissa with another very important fill ball here and she misses the head pin but manages to get eight leaving a 110 and Cindy has got a six fill so that trims it down to a 10 pin lead obviously Melissa must make this spare and she does that is a great shot she hit the cap of that wood and caused the ball to uh, take out the one and the ten and meanwhile, Cindy Colley goes through between the 1 and 7 and doesn't take out anything. So she needs an out here to get some fill out the box. Uh, she gets an 8 for a 145 game. Let's take another look at this spare by Melissa Casey. And as, as you can see what happens, the ball takes out the 1 and the 10. So that means that she needs 8 pins to tie nine to win on the last ball. Can you imagine a closer match than this? Eight to tie, nine to win. And, wow, wait a minute. No, wow. Can you believe it? It's a seven, so it is a one-pin win for Cindy Colley over Melissa Casey. Let's take a look at this last ball by Melissa. Pretty good hit on the head pin, a little bit high on the one-two side, and it looks like it's going to be six, but a couple of pins come off the wall. And you'll see the ten pin goes down, and this six pin, look how close that comes to falling, but it does not go. And a three doesn't go either. 
So that's just a heartbreaking uh, loss right there. That that was a good ball, and she just couldn't catch a break there. So it's going to be a one-pin victory for Cindy Colley, 145 to 144 over Melissa Casey. You can't ask for a more exciting match than that here in the third round of the inaugural Women's Pro Series Knockout.